Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Yeah, 16 hours and uh, 18 minutes into the uh, 24th day of September 2021, and we have a package opening. This is our first transition. Hopefully we get some more transitions in here. We don't have to necessarily be long-winded about it in terms of having a, a monumental discussion, but uh, nonetheless, here we go. So, this is a two-in-one package. Okay, we have two things in one. So, uh, here's the first package within the package. Let's open it from the side. It seems to be the better option. Alrighty. We have is one one USB to USB. Uh, these are the ports uh, changer. So you can switch out the the uh, you can switch out the gender in terms of uh, how you're going to connect various different things for all devices that require USB input. Opening the second package now. This is it here. Seems like a cable. No, it's not it's just the packaging. It is two uh, USB female uh, XLR to uh, uh, XLR uh, one quarter inch. So the this will go uh, uh, for the music studio. So uh, all in all, not bad. <sighs> I have a number of ways of getting things done. So yay for that. Uh, now onward and upward for the rest of the day. I'm gonna get myself some breakfast. I'm just now getting up. Today is the day to. Uh, more or less sleep all day, but uh, it seems like my body just wants to get up, and that's about it. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. While it is uh, just 23 hours and 11 minutes into the 25th day of September 2021, and we are ending the road vlog today for at least another couple months, uh, probably not till April, till the weather gets good again. It's not because of the weather, actually. It's because I've blown a tire, uh, and it's going to take me a while to do the repairs and everything. And by that time, it's going to it it's uh, it probably won't be till April that I start riding again. So this is the end of the road vlogs. Uh, uh, this will sort of uh, cap the ending of it. So. <laughs> uh, watching Lionel, you know, I appreciate what he does. Uh, it, it may seem like, like I pick on Lionel, but I'm not necessarily picking on him. This is how you do analysis. You know, when a person has and presents things the way they do in certain cases where he uh, has demonstrated a value, then you have to do the analysis. It's only proper to do the analysis. And so uh, this is what's being done. Is, is The analysis is being done. And this is what analysis looks like. I hate to keep repeating myself, being redundant, but that's kind of what it is. And I think it's, it's not that I blame conspiracy theorists. I just sort of say well, at a certain time, point in time the conspiracy theorists get it wrong. And there are there are, are a lot of areas which they get things wrong and this is something that sort of has to be corrected. And the, main, the way you correct it is by uh, sort of looking at criticism so maybe I made a mistake here, maybe I made a mistake there, going back into your sources and seeing how you're analyzing something. But then again, if you're reading, simply reading an article, it's not the single article that's going to make, make or break the point. Uh, it's, you, it's several points of view uh, that will sort of bring in the, uh, uh, 
sort of the uh, not necessarily the final key points, but a, 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 enough key points that you can make some degree of decision. Because you're not going to see everything. You're always it's, it's always going to be an approximation. This is something you have to get used to. Is analysis is always going to be the approximation. You're never going to get something uh, complete and concrete. Uh, that being said, is that, but give an example, and this is what I'm talking about in terms of uh, the proper levels of research. Is it's going to take time, and I'm not talking about weeks and months. I'm talking about years. One of the key factors, and, what, and, and I'm pretty sure that most people haven't done this, go read Dostoevsky. Read it in the order that the, that I'm telling you right here. Read uh, Brothers Karamazov. Look at the character of uh, of uh, Father Zosimus. Compare him to uh, Ilyosha. And see how that character develops. These two characters the characters develop. And then go from there, go to the... Uh, Idiot, and then to the possessed. That's uh, these are those two more books that are written by uh, uh, Dostoevsky. And then go to uh, uh, Crime and Punishment and look at the character who is a humanist as the as a representative uh, in some ways uh, of the behavior of society and point to where we are in the book. And I've done this already. I've pointed out that, that that we are near the end. We are seeing random destruction, oh, which means that we are on the path to self destruction. And you will see all the key points there. You will see, you know, when I don't addict to the whole thing. Like, oh, they're talking about communism. They're talking about Marxism. Well, there's enough that come up on the sort of the opposing side to things that say, oh, oh, this is what capitalism, this is what, you know, what this is. You know, they, they come up with these arguments, uh, and this is from a number of sources that I've seen, uh, political and otherwise, uh, bringing up the, the Marxist line and this whole thing that, that, that Marxism and capitalism is nothing more than a planned society. Well, where, this is his, def this is Lionel's definition of this. Well, where, he's, where has he been throughout history? I mean, he's the one who says history is important, sort of, because he also says that history would, be a, history would be a wonderful thing, only if it were true, quoting Tolstoy. But he doesn't tell you where that, that quote comes from. I mean, was uh, Che Guevara a communist? No, not from his point. That's not a planned economy. Neither was Castro, neither was uh, Mao, neither was uh, uh, Pol Pot for... The Khmer Rouge in Cambodia; these were not all kinds. But the, Bur the, 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 the what happened in Burma, that wasn't communism, because it wasn't a planned economy. And so what happens is, unless things meet these particular views and sort of definitions, he has a tendency to dismiss things. And then, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that that. Uh, and again, it's not an issue of, of me agreeing or with me agreeing with it or disagreeing with it. It's noting that where he's getting the information from, and he's getting it from his friends. If you listen to his past and go go study who he was in the past, you begin to realize he was very well connected with a lot of people in entertainment. And a large chunk of what he's saying, his, his opinions, were shaped shaped by the environment that he's in. People's views their opinions, their thoughts and ideas are often shaped by the people they hang around with. They're shaped by their environment. And this is, Lionel is no exception. So when you're looking at Lionel, you're also seeing the environment that he was part of and is part of. So this is why he becomes an, an excellent sort of called litmus test or a spread spectrum, a spread spectrum uh, 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 analysis because you're not doing, he's not a vertical type of pundit where you, you're only talking about Democrats and, and he's simply repeat, repeating a trope or a meme. He's not repeating things. He's not, he's not a parrot. He's not an echo chamber. He comes up with his own ideas. He, he, he expresses his own thoughts and ideas. This is something that's rare that you don't say on either side of uh, of, the pundit, of the pundit aisles. And the thing is, you basically have two sides and they kind of all line up the same. Uh, one is conservative and one is liberal. And they all repeat certain things that are, are, are we'll call, uh, 
playing to the base or preaching to the audience, but in terms of the depth of the analysis, this is simply not there. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave this here for now. I am tired because I did have... The, it broke my... The, the scooter broke down about uh, about an hour in terms of walking distance. About an hour away from it. It took me about an hour to get from where I was. Normally it takes me like five minutes. It's a, it, it, it's a five minute ride if I'm on the scooter. Uh, that five minutes now uh, translated into an hour. So, uh, Anyways, uh, I'll be hitching rides from now on for the next... Uh, a uh, couple of months, but uh, things move on. Well, it is twenty-two out. Uh, yeah, twenty-two hours and six minutes into the twenty-sixth day of September. It is a Sunday, and uh, we're at a transitions vlog. I was outside, uh, but I didn't have uh, my stuff to record, so I didn't do any recording out there. I didn't record a transitions there. Uh, I was listening to Lionel, but. Uh, he's beginning to shift again, but but this is what happens. Is that this is what I like about Lionel is that he does shift. He does sort of absorb things in his own manner, uh, and moves to other positions. And this is sort of what we heard today is that he's sort of uh, moving along in terms of uh, where he's situated on on. Uh, the whole resolve of what's going on primarily with the West. And it doesn't sort of... He's realizing that the West is more or less over. That this, it, It's in its last days. It's going to be, you know, not long for this world. And <laughs> moving on to the next, and it's going to be without the West. Uh, the West is slowly but surely turning itself into uh, the Third World. And I think this is f by design for in terms of, again, these designers, these people who are looking at these things, who are sort of coming up with these ideas, they're not necessarily young in terms of being teenagers, but there are, you know, between 35 and 45, and don't have, don't seem to have any sense of history. Uh, their ideas are uh, something like that of a four-year-old in terms of how you would go about redesigning something be, to be better. Matter of fact, I've, I've heard better designs uh, for future cities and so on and so forth from from six-year-olds than uh, working on a Lego set than I've seen from a large chunk of the people, well, even from those who are at Davos. So this is going to tell you where a large chunk of these things are going, and it's 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 quite my it's quite surprising to sort of see that uh, absurdist comedy, what was considered to be absurdist comedy. Uh, with uh, Monty Python and uh, uh, the guy who plays Mr. Bean, I can't remember his name right now, uh, become reality. Our reality is basically uh, the comedy from the 70s and the 80s, uh, the British comedies, uh, come to life. We are living, the, the, the comedy has become reality. The absurdity has become reality. And we're continuing to move down this path at a very fast and rapid rapid pace. So where it's going to end up is uh, kind of anyone's guess. But, uh, but then again, this is uh, 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 Sunday. Um, my first Sunday without doing any scooting. The first day without doing any scooting because the the tire is gone. Uh, there's uh, And it's going to take me uh, a while to sort of repair things. It's gonna. I won't be finished the repair and, and getting a new scooter uh, until April, so there will be no more uh, uh, road vlogs until then. Uh, so it's like taking the winter off because you can't really scoot in the winter anyways, But uh, and the weather's starting to get rainy and really bad around here, so... Uh, we'll have to sort of see what's happening.
So, anyways, uh, I've got uh, my YouTube stroll kind of uh, sort of lined up for now. I'm going to begin and continue along with some of the work I need to get done uh, over the next couple of hours. Anyways, I'll see you probably in, in in a couple hours to do a video once it's gone past midnight on the 27th to come back and do this because uh, now there's only a single vlog, so... Alright, I'm trying something new here a little bit. <laughs> um, it's our life. The question of the day they asked is, um, is it fall weather where we are? And up, I'm up, up in Toronto, and yes it is, we are having a vortex come through our area. So, uh, the vortexes typically bring in cold weather. It, uh, it drops the pressure, the pressure drops significantly, and as the pressure drops, so does the temperature. So that's the answer to that. <laughs> While I'm back in from observation, I started the YouTube stroll. We went to uh, Yaya Vlog. From there, we headed over to Toa, the uh, Ohana Adventure. And they're back from their uh, month-long uh, road trip. I would have liked to see more of the road trip. I like, I like the RV travel things. Uh, I have RV uh, myself. I have an affinity for RVs, and so I like to see a large chunk of these road trips. But uh, uh, that wasn't necessarily the case. So <laughs> uh, we all have different interests, and of course, they've got to keep their audience in check. And so, uh, in turn, not in check, but uh, watching, uh, watching their vlogs. So. It's getting tough. It's getting tougher out there. There's more uh, options in terms of the number of YouTubers you can watch. There are more. There are more streaming options. Like you know, you have uh, X. You have uh, Disney Plus. You have uh, Hulu. You have Nick uh, Nick Plus. So you have uh, that as a competition as well. So uh, it is getting tougher to to get to pull in a larger audience, so you always have to, in some ways, uh, uh, keep reinventing yourself if it's about the viewership in terms of how how many people view you. Uh, if it's a sort of a matter, in my case, a matter of of record in terms of a slower growth, and my growth is pretty slow, so, but it's growing. So there's no particular issue. So, I don't have to necessarily care that I'm only getting like 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 well I get about I get about a hundred views a month that's a, that's what I'm working at right now about a hundred views a month which isn't bad which isn't bad uh, looking at my Google Analytics and I look primarily at the views how many views how many people have viewed my my work and it's about that's about that's about a uh, a hundred views a month which isn't bad so uh, I will try to increase that but. A lot of times it's neither here nor there in terms of how things end up working out. Because you do, you're still going to move forward, you're still going to produce, you're still going to grow. Uh, I'm, it's called, it's, it's experimental TV because that's what it's about. It's about pushing some of these boundaries, uh, challenging the things you think you can or can't do on uh, YouTube. Uh, and the things that things you can and can't say. It's a matter of Sort of in many cases, if something is offensive in one way, maybe you can rephrase it so it's not as offensive. And there is someone's always going to be offended, but if you can do it in such a way that uh, that you say well, the, the, that the person viewing it, so in terms of the review, says, "Oh, you know, you're you're all right. You don't have any particular issues." I know there are certain uh, areas of issue, but you handled them tactfully, and there's enough of uh, leeway there that. Uh, there's no fundamental issue, so that's my approach to things. And as I said, when I do, they said do, when I do use term idiot or moron, I define it because there there is more than one context uh, than simply calling someone an idiot. Uh, the tep typical phrase "idiot" is a derogatory and has no fundamental meaning behind it. However. Dostoevsky, uh, 
who is a very famous author, uh, this was in the 1800s anyways, this is an older author, wrote an entire book on idiots. And it was at that time when the term idiot had a different meaning than from today. Uh, the, the idiot uh, was the person who now today we call uh, mentally challenged. That's who the idiot was. And so it was a condition where the person, they believe the person, couldn't understand certain things that we would consider to be common or commonly understood. So an idiot was a person who had no common sense. And again, this term common sense, again, comes out of the 1800s. It has a particular meaning to it. So you have to, in many cases today, you have to define well, why, I, why am I using this particular term? Where am I getting it from? Where am I bringing it from? And so when I use the term idiot, I use I say, in the sense of Dostoevsky, because I'm referring back to, back to Dostoevsky in his use of the term idiot uh, in the title of his book. And he's also done the same thing call, uh, for, for uh, people who are possessed. So, we're back in. I'm heading off to the kitchen right now. Uh, I have some preparation work to do, and from there, uh, back to the uh, YouTube stroll. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.